In this video, we're going to learn how to use the map function in pandas. So we're going to start by loading in pandas as PD and a data set to work with here. Now, what the map function does in pandas is it takes a pandas series and applies a function to every element of that series. So I'll give an example of how we could use map. First, I'm going to define a custom function here. And what we're going to do is we're going to map this function onto one of the columns of this data frame. Now you note that each column of a data frame in pandas is a separate series. So we can use the map function on an individual column because it is a series. Map does not work on an entire data frame though. So it's not something you can run on the data frame itself. You have to grab one of the columns and then run map on an individual column. So that's what we'll do in our example. We're going to take this function that will classify things as high, medium, or low, and we're going to run that on a column. So we're going to take our data, grab the power level column, and then say dot map, and then the argument to map is just the function you want to apply to each member of the series. So let's run this and see what the result is. You can see here that we did end up with a new series where the values that were numeric before were replaced by these different strings, depending on whether the values of power level were higher or lower than these values within the function. Now this is essentially the same thing as what the pandas.apply function would do if you were to run it on a series instead of a whole data frame. One useful thing that dot map can do though, that the apply function can't do, is that it can also accept a dictionary that maps a key value correspondence and run that instead of a function. So we'll give an example of what that means here. We're going to define a dictionary here called correspondence. And what it's going to do is map different values that appear in one of the columns to other values. So what this is going to do is take this dictionary for any value in the column we run it on that has the value Saiyan, that will be mapped to this new value, Alien. Any value that has Namek will be mapped to Alien as well, and so on. So basically what this is doing is it's going to allow us to take a column that has values that are matched up with these keys in this species column here in the data set. All those are matched up with keys and it's going to allow us to map each of these values to some new value that corresponds with it in our key value dictionary. So if we use map on that, we'll say data species, that is the series or column we want to map, dot map, and we'll pass in this correspondence dictionary. So we should end up with what amounts to a new series or new column now where all of the values are values in this dictionary here. So let's run this and see that we do have a new series now where all of these different species were mapped to these values that tell you whether that character, the species that they are, qualifies as being an alien or an earthling. So basically the two most useful ways of using map is to apply a function to each item in a series or a column of a data frame, or use a dictionary like this to map values in a column or series to some other value. Now all the code used in this video will be available in the description below. If you found the video useful, drop a like and hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.